I, I began playing um, just at school with local local uh, lads, really, because I'm quite old, so you know, not many females were playing sport then. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, it really is to be spotted and to be kind of asked for autographs, selfies, these that, you know, it's still, you know, some of my colleagues at Notts County Ladies in England, you know, we don't really look at ourselves as, as any different, but kind of the profile of the women's game has changed. Um, but it's brilliant that, you know, everyone looks up to us and uh, aspires to be and anything that we can do to kind of help that or, you know, give anything back, support, advice, um, you know, we're all willing to do that. bamboozes me that you know people still have those kind of attitudes that girls can't play football or can't enjoy themselves or can't express themselves so you know I think hopefully now they are the minority um, but you know I think that you know so many females have, have now kind of expressed the, our passion and, and, and our quality for the game and how much we have to give to to give to football. I think women have got a lot of passion for sport, I think especially football. I think, it, you know, by participating, I can only speak from my experiences as well and all the, all the females out there that I know, um, it keeps you fit, it keeps you healthy. Um, I've been fortunate enough to travel the world and hopefully some females tonight might be able to do the same. You know, you meet some fantastic people, you know, some lifelong friends and really genuine, lovely people through sport and through football. I think City of Football is given a special opportunity. Hopefully more cities around England will follow footsteps of, of this kind of innovative e event um, where you know many f females can come down and enjoy themselves and, and meet new people and who knows where they might end up. <laughs>